Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna explain some useful string methods that you might be interested in. Let's begin by creating a variable named name. Standard string name. We'll accept some user input. We'll need a prompt. Standard output. Enter your name. A user's name may contain spaces. We're better off using the getLine function. Standard get line standard cn name the first useful method is the length method type your string name follow it with dot length parentheses the length method will give you the length of a string let's write this within an if statement if name dot length method is greater than 12 we'll print a message such as, your name can't be over 12 characters long. Standard output, your name can't be over 12 characters. Else, we'll print a different message. Standard output, welcome the user's name. Enter your name, type in your full name. Welcome, whatever your name is. Okay, now what if our name is over 12 characters? Type in your full name, then just add a bunch of characters. Your name can't be over 12 characters. That is the built-in length method of strings. You type a string, follow it with dot length parentheses. Wherever you invoke this method, in that spot, you will return the length of that string in characters. The empty method will return if a string is empty or not. Type your string name dot empty parentheses. This returns a Boolean value. If name is empty, we'll display a message. You didn't enter your name. Else. Hello, whatever your name is. Okay, I'm just going to hit enter. You didn't enter your name. But if I do enter my name, it works normally. Hello, whatever your name is. That is the empty method of strings. You'll check to see if a string is empty or not. A useful case of this is to check to see if somebody enters in some user input. Another is clear. Name dot clear. Then let's display our name. Standard output, hello, name. Enter your name, type in your first name and last name. Hello, and we don't have a name anymore because that name has been cleared. So that is the clear method. We can append a string to another string. After my name, I will use append parentheses. Within the parentheses, we can add a string to the end of another string. I'll add at gmail.com. Standard output. Your username is now name. Enter your name. Your username is your name with at gmail.com appended to it. That is the append method. We can return a character at a given position within a string. Standard output, type your string, name, dot, at, parentheses. So the first character in a string has an index of zero. I'll display whatever that character is. Enter your name. So the first character in my string is a capital B. The character at index one, well, that would be R. We can insert a character at a given position. Type your string. Follow it with insert. There will be two arguments we'll list within the parentheses. An index, so the beginning of our string would have an index of zero, comma, then what would we like to insert? I'll insert the at sign at the beginning of my name. Then let's display our name. OK. 
Okay, so we now have the at sign inserted at the beginning of our string. Or you could pick a different position. The index of one would be the second character technically. So yeah, pick a position, then you can insert a string. Now we can find a certain character. I would like to find if there's any spaces within my name. Name dot find, then place a character. I'll look for any white spaces. This method will give me the position of the first space. Type in your first name and last name. The index of the first white space within my name has an index of three. The first character is always zero. Zero, one, two, three. Okay, then lastly, erase. Name dot erase. We can erase a portion of a string. We'll need a beginning index and an ending index. I'll eliminate the first three characters. Then we will display our name. Enter your name. Okay, and that's what's left of my name. I deleted the first three characters. The first number is the beginning index. The second is the ending index. It's not inclusive though. So yeah, those are a few helpful string methods. If you would like to know more, head to the string class on the c++.com website. And there's a fairly extensive list. Hey, if you're enjoying the series, let me know by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.